some of the common misconceptions that I see that patients have about um, hip and knee joint replacement. Uh, one, patients feel like they're too young or too old. Some patients don't feel that they're a candidate for a joint replacement. Some patients feel that uh, they may not be medically able to undergo the procedure. Uh, the other thing is, is that patients really should be managed conservatively at the beginning. Uh, most patients should have uh, some period of conservative management uh, so that they can feel comfortable about their decision to move forward surgically. Uh, additionally, I think that uh, that conservative management does take time. Uh, patients oftentimes will have uh, medicines, they'll have therapy, uh, and eventually the decision for surgery uh, takes them a bit to uh, come to. I do think some patients do postpone the surgery out of concern, out of fear, out of apprehension. It is a big operation. It's an operation that does take uh, time to recover. Um, I think that inherently all patients are concerned about the unknown. Surgery is an unknown. Um, I think patients um, oftentimes will, uh, for reasons that they don't want to admit, will postpone the surgery because of that. However, I think most patients in their own time do come to the realization that uh, their lifestyle is affected, their function is affected, uh, their inability to perform activities is affected. Uh, at that point, I think the patients recognize that they need to do something and move forward. After a hip or knee replacement, every patient is different, but what I instruct my patients on is it's typically about four to six weeks before patients are returning to more normal function. Uh, it takes patients about six to 12 weeks to return to their simple daily function. Uh, most patients, it'll take between six and 12 months until they've returned to a normal um, lifestyle that they had prior to the surgery. Some of the newer uh, techniques and some of the newer operations that are being utilized now in terms of joint reconstruction uh, would include things like a, a resurfacing arthroplasty for the hip, a partial knee replacement, a resurfacing arthroplasty for the shoulder. Because of the population that is aging now being active when they were young, we're seeing patients that present earlier with wearing down of those joints with degenerative joint disease. Ideally, uh, you'd like to preserve bone as much as possible. Joint replacements have a finite uh, lifespan. Anything we can do to preserve that bone makes a potential revision or redo of that operation easier, but it also is good for the patient in terms of quicker recovery. Uh, Shawnee Mission has devoted itself uh, to patients that need joint reconstruction. Uh, they have taken a part of the hospital and turned it into a hip and knee spine care center. Uh, those patients are uh, treated from the beginning to the end. The patients start with a class in which they're educated about the procedure. Uh, they're taken through the hospital. They meet some of the staff and personnel that they'll be dealing with. At the time of surgery, then the hospital has uh, created a therapy department that the patients are brought to. The rooms have been individualized for a more personal care for the family members, allowing the family members to be present. And then once discharged, the continuum of care through the social work and the home, uh, the home health and the home therapy. Uh, annually, I do typically between 30 and 50 total hip replacements a year and between 150 and 200 total knee replacements a year. Uh, additionally, the hospital with its various different orthopedic surgeons does in excess of 600 total joints a year. That volume, that repetitive um, surgery allows us to become much, much more efficient at what we do both in our patient care, in the delivery of the care, and in perfecting the procedure. Uh, studies have shown that centers that perform more than 50 total joints a year have better outcomes than those centers that do less than that. I'm Burl Gaddy, an orthopedic surgeon at Shawnee Mission Medical Center.